Dr. Cushing, many of you know me, and I have a, as you may know, I have a clinic in Charlotte and also one in Florida. Um, uh, I have been um, involved in allergies for almost 37 years, and today I'm going to be introducing to you one amazing guy. He's the president of Executive Restoration here in Charlotte. Uh, his name is David Snell. He's going to be talking to us about um, his vast experience in uh, treating mold problems in houses and buildings and also the remediation process that he, he utilizes as well. And David, thank you very, very much for coming here. Um, uh, I think my patients and their friends and colleagues are going to be very interested in what you have to say to us today. Uh, so I'd like to just start it off by, just by asking you, what, what uh, do you do exactly? What is your background? So what I do is I come in and I take ear samples, I take swabs, liftoffs, I uh, scan the walls, scan the ceilings, uh, overnight express the samples to the lab for testing, and we're able to determine uh, what is going on with the building. Um, so all homes, all buildings have mold. All buildings and all homes do not have elevated levels of mold. So what, do, what I want to determine is um, the issues that people have in their building. So when somebody calls you up and you go over to their building or they go over to their home, what, what is the process that you actually go through to evaluate their mold problem? Um, we're talking about the air sample. The, yeah. uh, we're talking about the liftoff, which is mm -hmm. basically a liftoff like scotch tape. Uh, the other uh, sample that I do is the swab, which is basically like a Q-tip. Okay. So we're, we, we, we need that sample yeah. to get the intel from the lab. Also, another thing that so many people do not do that I do is moisture level readings. So, oh, what's um, that? What's all that about? Well, moisture level readings are I offer penetrating as well as non penetrating. Um, it is a moisture meter that I plug into the wall, that I poke into the wall. It's got prongs on it. And then I also have another moisture meter that's non-penetrating. Also another uh, service that I offer is humidity level. I need to know what your humidity is in the building. Because if you have too much humidity in the building, guess what? You get potential wrong. Yeah. So uh, David, I noticed that there's some equipment over here. Uh, do you take pictures of something when you go to their home? Uh, what's all that equipment in the home? What, what kind of equipment do you use? Um, one of the biggest things that is so important is the pictures worth a thousand words. Mm -hmm. So one of the first things that I do is I take pictures. Um, so we have the air pump, we have the infrared scan, moisture meter, penetrating, non-penetrating. Um, so yes, yeah, well, lots of uh, high high tech equipment. That, that I'm sure you need that to adequately evaluate the situation. But what if somebody, um, you know, calls from out of state and they just, uh, they're worried, but they can't make it to, to your headquarters in Charlotte. Is there anything they can send you or is there any, any process that they you can get started with people? They, they're worried about their mold problem, uh, but, but they can't come to Charlotte. What, would, what can you recommend? Dr. Gushing, that, that is a great question. And so many people are so concerned about their home as far as a suspected issue and they don't know what it is so what they can do is they can get a sterile q-tip and they can they can take a sample of the suspected area and they put that in a ziploc bag and they send it off to us we then send it to the lab overnight express it to the lab and the lab's going to be able to determine dr cushing um if it's a mold issue what kind of mold it is and the health concerns that um, come, that can come from that particular type of mold. Wow, that's really valuable. That's fantastic. So they could just send that in and mail it to you and you can tell them all that information? Yes, sir, from the lab. Um, Dr. Christian, I've got a couple of questions for yeah. you. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, what are your qualifications? Well, uh, um, I have two doctorate degrees. Um, uh, one, as a I'm a licensed chiropractic physician, but I also have a doctorate degree in natural healing as well. Wow. So I have two doctorate degrees. And I also put together many years ago uh, a technique 
uh, out of absolute necessity, uh, which I called LFC's technique, which is uh, a technique that enables me to very quickly and non-invasively uh, evaluate any type of allergy with great precision and treat it with also very great precision. Uh, an example of that is um, if somebody comes to me with a mold allergy, um, I'll be able to tell them easily, quickly, without any invasion of their body, whether what the mold spore is, as an example. Is it alternaria? Is it aspergillosis? Is it concilium? Um, whatever the nature of the uh, mold is, the species of the mold, we can identify it and determine whether it's irritating them and causing their symptoms. And the treatment is also uh, non-invasive. It's of a bioenergetic nature. It's based on light frequencies. And without any uh, uh, side effects whatsoever, we quickly desensitize them to the mold allergy so that they can start breathing again without respiratory distress, without any kind of sinus issues, etc. So that's uh, a lot of what I do in my practice. I evaluate uh, people with mold and, and many other inhaled allergies, of course, but uh, mold is a big issue uh, where, where we are. So we evaluate them for mold spores, mycotoxins, which are the toxic secretions from mold. We desensitize them to whatever it is that they're reacting to. And the results are very satisfying and gratifying in about 99% of the cases. Uh, we get rid of the problem quickly. Wow. How long does it tip, Dr. Cushing, how long does it typically take to, uh, I guess the word is detox? Uh, desensitize. Desensitize. Yeah. How long does it typically yeah. take to desensitize sure. the body? That's a, that's a good question. It's done very rapidly. We, we use the body's own neuroimmune system to evaluate what they're reacting to. So the evaluation is done very quickly in one office call, and usually uh, we give them their very first treatment in that same office call. The whole uh, treatment never takes more than a half an hour for any particular one. Wow. So would you say that most people have been exposed to mold? I mean, we're all exposed to mold, you know, but even, uh, I think, David, when you go and evaluate with your sophisticated equipment, the mold spores in the air, sometimes we find them, but they don't appear to be at dangerous levels. Um, yes. Uh, nevertheless, even minute amounts of mold spores in the air, if you're allergic to them, can cause virtual disabling symptoms. They, they can cause, uh, technically, some of those symptoms would be cause allergic pneumonitis. That's a constant irritation of the lungs and coughing. Uh, it can cause chronic sinusitis. So even uh, levels of mold in your home that David detects, even if they're not at dangerous levels, can cause significant medical issues. Dr. Cushing, I've got a question, and that is that since I've been in business since 1988, would you say that it would be a good idea for me to go through this because I've been exposed to so much water damage, so much mold. Would it be a good idea for people like in, in inspectors, home inspectors, mold inspectors, mold remediation companies like me as well? Do you think it'd be a good idea? It'd be helpful for I us? I think it's a great idea because you're, you're overexposed to mold, yes. and sometimes in significant quantities. And I know you have to get into, you must have to get into crawl spaces that are absolutely laden with mold spores. So uh, God only knows what, uh, what, what health concerns you might even now be dealing with. I don't know because I've never evaluated you. But yes, they should be for sure. Yeah, so the, the LSE's technique that we use, uh, probably I should just emphasize that it is totally non-invasive. It's very quick. It's rapid acting. It's permanent in most cases. I mean, when we treat somebody for mold, it may take a, uh, depending on the degree of the amount of mold spores we're dealing with, usually it does not take long, uh, you know, typically two or three treatments, and that, us that usually takes care of the issue in most cases. So um, if there's no danger involved in it. We've treated uh, babies with this technique. We've treated uh, people in their late 90s with this technique. There's absolutely no side effects to the technique. And an interesting aspect also is that this technique that I uh, developed and perfected over the years has been um, extensively tested on animals in Florida. Uh, in Florida, with the help of a licensed veterinarian, I started treating dogs and cats and horses who had severe allergic reactions, 
we have pre and post video, hundreds and hundreds of pre and post videos of the success of this treatment on animals. So this tells, this can tell you two things. One, it's not a placebo. Is it the reaction, the, the results we get are not based on any placebo because animals don't know anything about placebo uh, effects. And two, it verifies the efficient, the effectiveness of the technique because it's, we can treat both humans and animals uh, with this technique. Although, I must say, uh, uh, we're limiting our treatment at this point to just humans. One of the questions I've got, Dr. Cushing, is that I'm sure that a lot of people uh, want answer. Is it, how much does your service cost? That's a good question. So, uh, if somebody comes in just for a mold uh, evaluation and treatment, it's 195 for the evaluation in which we identify the mole spore or spores or mycotoxins. And that uh, is also, uh, we also treat the patient. We give them their first treatment. That's all inclusive for 195. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That, seems like, that seems like such value. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is. Uh, it, it, now, if they need other things, um, if they need other things, they yeah. have other issues like dust. Now, if they have other things, a lot of people have multiple inhalant allergies, and they, they often have chemical sensitivities and food allergies as well. If, the, if you're dealing with that kind of a situation, then I would recommend that we do a complete workup. And that complete workup, which includes food allergy testing, chemical allergy testing, you know, all the inhaled allergy testing is 345. That's, that, again, yeah. that's such value, folks. That's yeah. such value. Um, and subsequent office calls after that are 117. I should add too that um, when we're treating allergies, we typically do not have to use uh, supplements, vitamins, minerals. The, the technique relies uh, almost exclusively on the unique uh, vibrational therapy that we uh, do. It's a light therapy uh, which uses no gear frequencies to normalize the energy fields of the human body all of the organs, t uh, glands, tissues of the body, all the acupuncture meridian circuits are completely normalized uh, during this treatment. It's, it's an essential part of the treatment to do that. And it's part of the reason we're so successful and so it's such a rapid acting uh, technique. But it's entirely non-invasive. So my suggestion to you is if you need help, um, and if you have concerns, Go to Dr. Cushing's website. Your, your website again is? It's holisticdocdoc.com. Great. It ha on that website is my telephone numbers and a, a lot of other information, my biography, the kinds of things that we treat here. Uh, I think you'll find it uh, riveting. It's, uh, it's a very interesting website. Thank you very much. And David, thank you very much for a very informative interview. Um, I think my patients will uh, be able to use you with great benefit. Thanks again. Thank you so much, Dr. Cushing.